Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. It's wonderful to see all of you. This is Roger Bleasy. I am the Shave Lion. Welcome to my show. And this is episode 203. You know what? No matter who you are, no matter what you stand for, if you're an enemy of the Lord, you're going to come down to nothing. It's best that you join yourself with the Lord. Because those who are against Him will fail. we got to understand this. You know what I'm saying? If you're living your life against Him, I highly, highly suggest that you get your life straightened around to believe in Him and follow Him and worship Him. That's very important. Now, today, i got a wonderful shave set up for you. Today, I'm going to shave with a straight razor. This is the very first a straight razor, um, an antiquated razor called a uh, Hibbert Spencer and Bartlett Company number 1145. This is the Barber's, uh, Barber's A1 razor and uh, it is a beautiful razor. This is uh, looks a little bit icky but that's because there's some uh, patina on it. It is a very sharp blade as you can see. Lovely indeed. I'll be using this today. I just got done stropping it and getting it ready for my shave. I also have the um, this particular razor here that I can't seem to think of the name of it. Goodness sakes alive. Oh goodness sakes, I've used it countless numbers of times. Anyway, this is the razor for the top side. Goodness sakes alive. We'll get that figured out. Moto head blade, there we go. Ah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have my moments, what can I say? I'll be using my um, Omega uh, Made in Italy Boar's Hair Brush by Parasso, and I'm going to go ahead and get that in the water and have it uh, start hydrating right now. Um, I'll also buy my shave soap for today. It's going to be Sterling Soap Company's Electric Sheep. Bah! Yeah, that's right. And uh, this is a wonderful, beautiful limeish type scent kind of sweet and aromatic. Um, I'm going to be using that and I'm going to be um, using this as the aftershave. This is a Barrister and Man's Latha Figgy Pudding at Post Aftershave Splash. Right like that. And uh, this also has a flavor, a slightly different but very good matching to this as far as, uh, as, far as odor is concerned. And then of course I'll be using my Georgetown Pottery Scuttle and um, I've got this uh, heated up and ready to go. All right, you guys, let's get down to brass tacks here. Let's shave. All right, come down right now for me and the soaping. Okay, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are once again. I have my soap, my already ready hydrated brush, and my scuttle. I'm going to go ahead and set my scuttle off to the side for right now, and um, I'm going to be blooming my soap today. So I'm trying to trying to bloom my soap a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and get this soap ready by adding some nice hot water to the surface of my soap. But let that sit for a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing started here in just a moment. And while I'm waiting for that soap to bloom a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and fold my towel up that I'm going to be using on my face. So I've got that folded up nice and I'll add that to my hot hot water and then I'll be squeezing that towel out and then we'll we'll soap up. Hey you guys if you haven't done it yet subscribe! Don't forget to subscribe and by all means leave a comment or suggestion do whatever you need to do in order to communicate with me. I would love to hear from you. And most importantly of all, share these videos. If you're sharing this video, you are sharing the gospel. You are sharing the hope that comes from Jesus Christ, people. Do that for me. It's very, very important. Not just for me, but for the Lord as well. We have to get the word out. And it's so very important that we glorify Him by sharing uh, what we know is true and sending it out. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out my towel, which is nice and hot. And 
and then I will set that dowel aside for uh, the presentation of the town just a little bit. Get rid of the extra water from my uh, soap, and now we're going to load up the brush. Once again, this is uh, Sterling Soap Company's Electric Sheep. We're loading the brush, getting it ready for our shave, and I'm excited because I haven't used a straight razor for a little while. And uh, you probably notice I, I tend to favor the DE razors. Well, they're just they're a little less work as far as preparation and uh, and shaveability. But uh, my goodness sakes alive, straight razors are wonderful, and they do a wonderful job of cutting. And if you and if you take your patience with them and practice about 30 days worth of practice, you can get over all the fears and peculiarities of using one. And um, I just love it. I think it's marvelous. Okay, we're going to start with that. That is our loaded brush. I'm going to set that in my scuttle over here. And now I'm going to clean out the extra soap that I have sitting in here. So I've got all that's been hydrated taken up. Very good. Put that in there with my with the rest of my stuff. And now we're going to go ahead and close this up. We'll just uh, set that off here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to whip it up. All right, here we go. Let's whip it up. I'm probably going to have to add a little bit of water to this. That's okay. Just getting it spread out in the bowl first with dip tips of my brush in the water. And now we will get ourselves a nice lovely lather. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks awesome. Look at that lovely, lovely lather. Oh, it's going to be luxurious, I'm telling you. All right, there we go. There you have it. We've got that ready. And now, of course, we're going to bring in God's Word. Today, I'm going to be going to the Psalms. And this is going to address kind of my opening statements here. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Today, we're coming, going, we're taking from uh, Psalm 92, verses 5 through 9. It says, How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know. The fool cannot understand this, that though the wicked sprout like grass and all evildoers flourish, they are doomed to destruction forever. But you, O oh Lord, are on high forever. For behold your enemies, O oh Lord. Behold, for behold your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be scattered. All right, it's only five verses but man, what a powerful set of verses it is. And it helps us to see how, how doomed the wicked are. Alright, we're going to go ahead and talk about this a little bit. Uh, so please join me upstairs now for the shave and the devotion. Well, imagine seeing you here. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with our hot towel. It's been squeezed out, ready to go. It is nice hot to trot. And we're going to hydrate my face. Are you ready? Present the towel. Oh, yes. Oh, it feels so good. Gotta keep that thing hydrated, you know. All right, let me go ahead and move some things around here. I'm gonna get my lovely, I'm going to get my lovely uh, mirror set up here so I can see myself, and hopefully get everything set good. All right, soap is ready. Let's go ahead and soap it up, shall we? Mmm, sterling soap. A wonderful shave soap indeed. They know how to do it and have all kinds of wonderful slickness with it. 
which is so nice. All right. Okay, so once again, this is my very first uh, straight razor that I ever purchased, and it was like it, it was like crap when I got it, and uh, I restored it, and I'm very pleased with how it works. So let's go ahead and, and give this a start. Oh, I already cut myself a little bit. <laughs> I'm telling you, it does take some practice, but believe me, the shaves are wonderful. So, by all means, get yourself a cheap razor. Make sure it is professionally honed, or if you have rocks yourself, you can hone it yourself. Just watch a bunch of YouTube videos, you can do it, and then you will find yourself shaving with a straight razor and it'll be a wonderful experience for you hopefully. All right, you guys, first pass is done. Yes, we have to understand that being against the Lord indeed will have its consequences, and not good consequences, mind you. We have to know with certainty that the Lord will overcome all his enemies. And the thing is, the Lord is very powerful here, and I just want to underscore this. It starts out with, How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know. The fool cannot understand this. Yes, you've heard it said from Scripture that His ways are far greater than our ways, and that certainly is true. He is far beyond uh, anyone in all thinking, including those who believe in Him. But uh, it's very important that we understand that his, his love and his ability far outweighs our feeble minds. Even though we're created in his image, believe me, he still knows what he is talking about. And his purposes never fail, ever. So that brings us then to mind. Why would we want to question him? Why would we want to doubt him? Why would we want to be the person who would scorn all that he says? All right, here we go, second. Second path, cross the grade. Very nice. So far, so good. Yeah, you know, our Lord is victorious in all things. And he makes no bones about the fact that the evil are going to fail. In fact, he says, he says here, that though the wicked sprout like grass and evildoers flourish, they will be doomed to destruction forever. 
You know, this fairy might be a course of contention with us because we do see those evil people in our lives. We do see them flourish and get their way and schmooze their way into situations where they get this benefit that we ourselves wish we could have. And all kinds of things happen, you know? And they they uh, literally ruin it for us in in our life because they you know they they take unfair advantage and they use evil as the crux of how they get things done and even though that they flourish guess what the word is clear they will be doomed forever So, whenever you see a person who is evil, and you know them by their fruit if they're evil or not, and they get their way and you don't get your way, don't be jealous of that. Because they're certainly sealing their fate for their eternal destruction. You don't, you don't want to be partners with them. You don't want to be, oh, they're doing it so I can do it. No. You want to keep from that. Oh, it's feeling so good. And now my, uh, my final pass against the grain will really solidify any uh, any problems I have underneath here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the face off again. Add a little hydration to my face. Just uh, go ahead and whip up a little bit more here. Oh god, that feels so good. I tell ya, shaving scuttle is the way to go, ladies and gentlemen. It really heats that lather up and it feels so good when you're putting it on your face. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm sure it'll feel good to be put on your legs or wherever else you gotta shave. All right, now. Now we're gonna go for against the grain. Baby, but smooth. Let me tell you. And then it says here, uh, finally it says, But for you, O Lord, are on high forever. In other words, you use above all things. And for behold your enemies, O Lord. For behold your enemies shall perish. All evil doers shall be scattered. There's a certain finality to those who practice evil. And God makes no bones about it in the Psalms, as he does here in this Psalm 92. They are in no wise going to win. They are in no wise going to be victorious over our Lord. They will be condemned forever. So, comfort yourself with this. Remember, our Lord is victorious in all things. All right, you guys. I managed to get baby butt smooth, but uh, it's a little bit on the Nikki side. Oh, well, what can I do? What can I say? <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to go ahead and dry off my straight razor. By the way, if you own a straight razor, take good diligence in drying it very thoroughly. And if you can, 
run uh, run some cotton or some some a towel or something through uh, through the uh, through the cover because moisture can build up in that and then cause your blade to rust if you're not careful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. Wipe my chin off again. Holy cow! <laughs> But I'm very pleased with my shave. It feels wonderful. Okay. All right, you guys, give us what time it is. It's fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go. Ta-da! Woohoo! Minus the nicks on the face, it went famously well. Yeah, so it feels so fabulous. Oh, wonderful. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on with Barrister Man's Lava Figgy Pudding Post Shave Splash. Gonna go ahead and give it a shake. Uh, shake it, shake it. And we're gonna go ahead and put some on. Mm. Feels good. But I'm feeling I'm gonna have to work on my chin a little bit to get it from from bleeding. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that one. But overall, I'm very well pleased with this. All right, you guys. Let me stick my finger there. It'll help me look intelligent. Eh, <laughs> kind of. Not. Well, you know. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. Thank you for for being here with me, for looking at my videos daily, and for continuing in God's Word. Remember, those who are against the Lord will fail. They'll be brought to destruction. They will lay waste forever. They will be scattered. Remember this. Don't be jealous of that. Instead, worship the Lord. Know that He has your best interest in mind. And that eternal life is yours in him. All right, you guys. Have a great day in the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he give you Nick Free. Uh-oh. And baby butt smooth shaves. Have a great day, everyone. Tuttles!